between time of placement and reshore getting pulled out. So, but we've been pretty good as far as four challenges. Um, I, I vertical, on the vertical, vertical uh, you're allowed a little bit more. Really? I mean, uh, as far as tolerance, I mean, on a, on a vertical column, I mean, a column wouldn't shock me at all if it's a, a half inch out or... Really? Yeah. But, uh, I mean, but they you, have to, you have to adjust for that as you go up. They will place, when you get to the next floor, Everything that is placed back at the bottom of those columns are then placed back at the theoretical. So, I mean, they have a full-time, they have a full-time two-person team laying everything out with a transit. So, I mean, they've got two full-time engineers. They lay everything out off of control bridge. And we established control bridge way at the beginning of the project. So, on the working deck, so on this deck, we, uh, we installed a control bridge it's agreed upon by the all the mechanical contractors as well. So we'll lay out, you know, an offset three feet east of five line, six feet east of three line. So we'll, we'll establish a, a grid both in the east-west and the north-south direction. All the MEP contractors will have that on their, their MEP shop drawings, like their sleeping drawings. So when they come up here onto this deck, they're pulling off these controlled uh, lines that are right under shop drawings to get all the sleeping right spot. When we put I mean, on a, on a given deck, we'll put 300 to 400 sleeves on the deck easily. What's a sleeve? There's no problem with uh, here. So, I mean, there's various things. This is a sleeve. This sleeve happens to be for a fan coil riser. Okay. So all this is is just a sheet metal box out with the lid on it. Uh, concrete obviously gets cast around it, doesn't fill up where it's the that kind where of the stuff they used to core for that stuff, didn't they? Not my time. Not your time, huh? construction. So we sleeve everything virtually, and uh, concrete gets poured so around all the, it. All the plumbing rise and all that would be sleeved out like that? All those are sleeves, yeah. Okay. If somebody's pouring through the slab, it's because the sleeve either got kicked out or they forgot to put it in, or uh, found out it went in the right spot. But for the thousands and thousands of sleeves that we put in over the course of this project, I mean, we've maybe had problems with six, eight, and... Uh, How many guys are working during any given day? On the, the full project, we've got about 320 people on the project right now. Wow. And uh, so we'll expect that to get up to about 400. When you're doing interior finishes? Or? We're, we're well underway with the interiors, but we've got a lot of in, the interior work that is just about to start. So we haven't started the, uh, the flooring on the project. got delivered last night. So next week, I mean, that flooring contractor, he'll bring in 12, 15 people easily over the next couple of weeks. Now is that crane going 24 hours a day up there? Or? Almost. Almost. That guy will start at, uh, he's easily running that crane from about 5 o'clock in the morning until, it, it depends on which day of the cycle it is, but on the, the poor day, like last, yesterday we poured a deck and they try to go after all the vertical as much as they can on uh, certain walls. And uh, they finally got out of here about 9, 30, 10 o'clock last night. So there's two guys that run the crane. There's an operator and then an operator oiler. They both can run it. Think we can get a bungee cord hanging off of there? Yeah. Probably good, but uh, probably don't want to get caught doing it. <laughs> but they do have, for inspection purposes, I mean, you see on, on the, uh, the trolley, uh -huh. I mean, there is a there is a basket with rails on it yep. for inspection purposes. So, I mean, 
if somebody was so inclined and it was properly tied off, the inspector could take a ride out there and check it out, make sure everything was okay. 